Hi everybody, we have here a Volvo V40. Uh, you probably stumbled across this video because you need to change the body control module. Let me show you what I know. The body control module is in the passenger side and it is located up there. Now this one has already been half removed, so I'm going to whip that out and show you the clips later on when I put it back in. If you need to change one of these, it's important that you realize that you can't just put a second hand one in. You have to get it programmed. And we're going to show you that as well. So let's crack on and get this one off. To get this off, if we look under here, these multi plugs have got to be unclipped. And if you see, there's little locking tabs either side, and they come out like so. So you have to nip those in and ratchets like so. That in like so. This last green one has a little black slider that's got to push up. You may want to get a, a screwdriver. Sometimes you can get a bit more. Uh, pressure by pushing these tabs at the bottom. Right, screwdriver to help on this one. This little one will do it. There. And there's the VCM out. So on to the next stage, um, as we said earlier, these body control modules are programmed to the vehicle. It's got all the immobilizer data in it. So if you get a second hand one, you plug it on, the car won't start, the ignition won't go on, the central locking won't work, absolutely nothing. So what we have to do is program it. And first I'm gonna get my, uh, my program tool connected up and then we're gonna read all the data out of it. So uh, let's do this in about 10 seconds. programming tool is all connected um, all the wires soldered on there nicely ready to go ready to rumble let's get the light set up right device is all selected now all we've got to do is read the data yeah, it's reading the data there And there we have one lot of data read. And here we'll find lots of information about the car. This will be the VIN number, immobilizer data, keys, etc. Um, we've got um, D flash, C flash, shadow, D test, C test. Uh, we don't have to program all of these, but we're going to program uh, what we need to. So we'll uh, save this data. We're going to mount up the other one, get it programmed in, and get it back on the car. After this again, we connect up differently to read the EEPROM, which is what we're doing here. Once we've read the EEPROM and saved that, we then uh, finally connect up our programming tool to read the password of the body control module. We need this to successfully uh, read and write the data back to the donor unit, which is what we're doing now. If you need to replace a body control module on a Volvo V40 or if you need any other type of programming work done on a vehicle, 
visit us at ecuconnection.co.uk where you'll find thousands of ECUs and components available in our ECU shop and thousands of services available in our services section. Simply click on services at the top of the page and select your vehicle and component from the easy to use drop down menus on the left hand side. For example, today we are looking for a body control module to be replaced on a Volvo V40. Once you've selected your vehicle and your component on the left hand side, choose the results from the right hand side and then enter the page. Once you have selected the service that you need and added it to the basket, you can pay using our easy to use secure payment system. Your component will be programmed and returned back to you within a few days and we offer a Europe wide postal service. So, uh, body control modules all reassembled. If you do send us anything for cloning, please mark your original and donor units clearly for us. The original is the one that comes out of the car. The donor is the one that goes into the car. So refitting is just reversal of removal. It is a bit of a faff. It slides up and is um, held into that white bracket with uh, these uh, clips here that slide in and uh, you have to get a little screwdriver in there to uh, wriggle them out when you take them out. Right, all the plugs are in, then you have to wriggle it back into its place with the two pegs at the top that need to line up with the two holes in the bracket and it clips in, simple as that. So to get it out, you just release these two clips, the ones there and there and then pop it forward with your third hand. Simple as that. Right, let's check and see if this is working. Well, it's a good good sign that the uh, backlights are on the ignition. Let's try the door locks. Let's shut the door. It locks. It unlocks. Key in the ignition. And we're away. Another check of the uh, remote. Lock. Unlock. All good. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, do whatever you like. See you on the next one.